Alright, welcome back everyone. I'm going to show you some simple solutions to help get rid of steering slop, particularly in this small scale, cheap Chinese made stuff. It's like they, they just don't care, they just want it to work, but there are those of us who want it to work more precisely. And there's a simple fix. And as you can see right here, what's happening is this, this steering mechanism, this would go out to the right front tire, this would go out to the left front tire for steering. Right, so this is called a bell crank system, this end right here would hook up to the steering servo. So what's happening is if I hold one end still, and I move the tire in and out, is I get a lot of excessive movement in this guy right here. So the way to fix that is to take it apart like you see here, and then grab yourself some Teflon tape. In this case, this one happens to be Papa Tango Foxtrot Echo Tape. But if you can find Teflon tape, pure Teflon tape, that would be even better. But this is what is commonly called as Teflon tape, used for to seal like air leaks or po potential air leaks, things of that nature. So I just cut me off a small strip, about an inch long. Yeah, I'm going to call that an inch. And then I cut it in half again, and then I wrapped it around the, the head of the screw. I don't know if you'll be able to see the difference on camera or not, but you can see that excessive movement. Well, that's also left to right play, too. That translates to left to right play. And then we'll grab the other one. Kind of, let's kind of move that out of the way, see if we can move that out of the way. And it's dramatically reduced. I could probably stick a little bit bigger piece in there. It still pivots just fine left to right. So get yourself a little bit bigger piece. It's easier to take it off than it is to put it back on. Then thread the screw back in there. And if your ball joints such as these, if I can grab I grab the end and then I wiggle it, it feels a little bit sloppy too. You can cut yourself a little corner, slide it over the ball, then snap the your steering link back in there too. Technically, this stuff is self-lubricating, especially if you get the uh, Teflon, if you can find the pure Teflon, that would be even better. But this is what I had on hand, and it, it's, it's still fairly smooth, and plus that will help keep dust and debris out of these ball joints as well. And here is an example of that scene done. You can see kind of little squares there over the steering mechanism. It, this is the WL Toys A959 and it still has some slot but now it's in the spindle in the bearing area but it was a lot more than that so this is a lot a lot this is like seven times better than what it was I, I promise you even the up and down is a lot better plus always check your screws too from these little cars they're not always set flush and be careful not to over tighten them that little screw down there I went through some of them were not even seating flush some of them were not tight at all and it doesn't matter WL toys Eashin it doesn't matter check them all just gently twist them a little bit with a screwdriver make sure nothing changes but it's always better to have it out and have it in your hand and do it and do it this way, right? That way you can make sure that the servo is not going to see too much torque, right? Because these are little tiny servos in these little 116 scale, probably 9 gram, I would guess. And they're very small, they don't have a lot of torque, so you want to keep things free, but you don't want them so tight where, where the servo cannot operate. And you can do the same thing with the rear suspension links. Anything that where your car is worn out, add a little bit of Teflon tape, it helps fill up that gap. And like I said, that'll help stop sand and stuff from getting inside there. And it's just too easy. It's something simple. It's only, I don't know, less than five United States dollars to buy one of those rolls of Teflon tape. And other than that, have a good day.